a first edition of The Art of English Posy by George Putnam. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington, Senior Specialist in Rare Books. I'd like to show you this copy of uh, the first edition of what is uh, an Elizabethan primer of poetical technique. You can see from the title page that the uh, book is divided into three and it is printed in London by Richard Field in 1589 and Richard Field also signs the dedication which is dedicated to William Cecil, Lord Burley uh, with his initials there, Richard Field and uh, Lord Burley was of course chief advisor to uh, Queen Elizabeth and there is a very nice engraved vignette uh, portrait of the Queen there at the beginning of the text. Now this is really the only work of this date like it. It uh, has a value for collecting uh, material from earlier poets, uh, Richard Tottel's miscellany, things like that uh, which would otherwise, uh, some of them would otherwise not survive. Uh, some of the interest uh, is centered on the fact that it's printed by Richard Field because Richard Field is famous for being a contemporary and uh, schoolfellow of William Shakespeare in Stratford-on-Avon. They seem to have come to London at the same time and uh, it's really remarkable how many source books for Shakespeare's plays were printed by Richard Field and the suggestion is that rather than uh, pay for the books himself. Shakespeare was able to visit Richard Field's workshop and read the books there. This is one of the books he may very well have been interested in. No copy, Shakespeare's copy does not survive of this book if you read it, but Ben Jonson's copy does survive and that is very heavily annotated which shows that uh, it was taken seriously by poets and playwrights of the time. Uh, it's a an elegantly printed book. It's got uh, all kinds of material in it including some rather interesting printing techniques here. Uh, we show here the different line arrangements showing how the rhyme schemes work and uh, also what we might later call uh, concrete poetry where, conc uh, where poetry could be arranged on the page in specific shapes. So we see this kind of ingenious printing and uh, showing the different forms a poem might take. It's a very nice copy, it's got good margins all round, it's nice and clean. Uh, it's in a later binding, the binding is very uh, a deluxe binding by Riviere, the uh, leading London binders of their time, it's something around 1900, 18, 19, 1900, something like that. Um, or perhaps later, they used the same pattern for, for several decades. It comes from the collection of uh, Dr. Howard Knoll uh, with his book plate here, had a very nice uh, collection of, uh, he collected them as Wing and STC books, so early uh, English books up to 1700. So this is a, one of his uh, star items, I would say, in his collection, a very nice book indeed. On the matter of Shakespeare, uh, a scholar named William Lowes Rushton in 1909 went through the art of English poesy and compared it, collated it with Shakespeare's works and found an impressive number of parallels, uh, some hundreds of parallel passages which suggest that Shakespeare did indeed read this book and pay careful attention to it. Uh, there's a full description of this book and many other early English printed books on our website.